Tommy, you, you know, you've only two fights in. Last time Manchester Arena, but this time we've got the press conference coming up. We're at the O2 Arena. You're going to be part of all of it. This must be an exciting moment in your young career. Definitely. I'm buzzing, you know, to box at the O2 Arena. I'm yet to box here, and now I am. So I've had a good run so far. I'm 2-0, and o, two knockouts, box at Wembley, box at Manchester Arena. So now it's time for me to put someone away at the O2 Arena. <laughs> When you went professional, I mean, less than a year ago now, <laughs> were you picturing that we'd be here just in your third fight? Nah, to be fair, I always hoped I'd get a good deal, you know, and hoped that I'd box on a big platform. And uh, I've been lucky, you know, I've been very lucky. I've got a great team around me, Mark Tibbs, Jimmy Tibbs, and of course, S-Jam. And uh, I've teamed up with Frank Warren. So I've got um, I've got a great opportunity and I can only take it of both hands and um, smash them all, you know, smash everyone. Whoever wants it, they can all have it. And when you look at yourself, you look at this arena is the dream then one day to headline someone and smash someone here to win a big title yeah definitely i'd love to headline the show you know on uh on my uh debut i think i sold the most tickets to the show so they could have put me as a headliner but you know i'd have a 50 50 on my third fight and i'd headline i don't mind i'll fight anyone but you know i'm only 20 years old i've got to take the right steps and um listen to my team and people that are actually very um people that are actually very what's the word like they're interested in my career and getting me to the right place or where I need to be and um, not making any silly decisions and I'm sure at the right time I'll take the right fights and I'll get to where I need to be. Last time out unfortunately you know you had the float position sometimes you get lucky this time unfortunately it was after the fight but you still got a very convincing a good victory it was meant to be a tough opponent how did you see that fight going for yourself because unfortunately a lot of people weren't able to see it. Yeah, it wasn't ideal being um, on behind the main event, but I think things could have turned out very well. Could have got on before the main event, but that's just life and how things go. You know, I was afloat, and that's the chance I took. But I think I learned. I got a great experience, and I learned from that. As uh, I was waiting several hours to box, but imagine when I get out the bus and get straight into the change rooms, and I'm on in half hour. I'll be fresh as a daisy, and I, I think I'll box a lot better. But people that for people that didn't see it, I'll got a um, fourth round stoppage, fourth round knockout, had a good credible opponent for my second fight and that's just how I deal with people you know and that's, continue, that's how I'll continue knocking them out and uh, doing vicious beatdowns you know. That's what, something I've noticed of you as well you know your first fight was against an unbeaten you didn't know what you're coming in, second fight again and not a tough opponent, you're very young at the same time but you seem to be winning just to fight whoever's put in front of you, is that something about you that we're going to continue to see for your career that you're going to be willing to take risks willing to fight tough opponents yeah I'm not in this game to mess about you know there's no point getting in the ring for a tickle with some people that are just coming to lay down like my first opponent he was 1-0 unbeaten I'm not saying he was an elite fighter but he had ambitions to come and win and we all saw what happened to him but yeah like I said I'm not in this game to mess about this business and I'm I'll get in there to put people over and uh, finish the contest of, before the contest is finished so um but yeah, like I'll, uh, if I've got a box around, if I hit them and they don't go over, then that's fine. I'll just uh, get behind a jab and box, which is the main thing. A win's a win. It's not always about knocking everyone out and not being a one-trick pony. But I believe I can box and I can fight. I can fight long, I can fight short. So no matter what anyone brings to the table, I believe um, I'll smash them. I believe I'll smash them. I, I interviewed you when you had just been announced at the beginning and seeing you now here, the way you're talking and that, you seem to be someone who's really enjoying this journey. You really enjoy the lifestyle, the work, the ethic. Is that something, am I right in saying that? Yeah, definitely. It's a lot different to the amateurs. Like you just turn up and get out of the bus and weigh in and box and that's it, you go home. But um, in the professional, I'm boxing at big arenas. I'm doing press conferences. I'm uh, doing media. I love it and I'm starting to warm to it. But like I said, it's just all business. You know, the main thing that actually counts is the fight under the lights and that's what actually matters. But I'm in the gym, I'm training hard and putting my life to it. So uh, I've just got to get to where I need to be and I'm sure I'll get there. You've got a great team around you, you know, putting in a lot of effort as well. Is that also making it that bit easier, working with people that you seem to be very close with? Yeah, because um, Jimmy, Mark, they've all been around the game for years and obviously S-Jam, they've got some great fighters. So I've got uh, people that have gr really experienced around me. So I've only it's only can rub off into me and I can only take bits from them and learn on this journey but you can't buy experience you know even if people around you experience you've got to you've got to learn for yourself but of course Mark and Jimmy Sonny Cannon I'm listening to them I'm a great listener and I know what I've got to do and where I need to go so that's that's how it is really and you must see yourself getting better and better stronger and stronger every day in the gym 
definitely. I'm only 20 years old, so I'm still learning, you know. I'm not the finished article yet, and I won't be for a long while, but I'm learning each fight by fight as I step up, and I believe I'll, um, when I get to fight for a title and pass that, I'll be more than ready. I'll be more than ready. When you picture yourself at the end of November, the bright lights, the television cameras here at the O2, are oh, we going to see another devastating, big performance, big punches being thrown? Definitely, I'll be bouncing on my toes, looking at that ring, ready to do the ring walk. I'll be, uh, I'll be very confident. Hopefully, I've got a good opponent. You know, someone that comes in as a go, and uh, yeah, hopefully, I get another good vicious knockout. The last fight I was chatting to Sonny Ali, he was telling me afterwards he was going to have a, um, a chocolate milkshake of bacon bits to celebrate. <laughs> it's coming towards Christmas. Are you going to be looking today to go back in the gym, continue working over the Christmas period, or are you going to deserve that well-deserved rest and maybe have a chocolate bacon milkshake? I'm not. I won't go too silly. I'll get back in the gym, get back to training, you know, like it's only my third fight. When I won a world title, then maybe, but I'll be back in the gym, back training, preparing for the next contest. And then are we going to continue seeing you super active throughout the next year as well? Is it going to be as many fights as possible build up that experience 100 percent. i'd box every weekend if i could but um yeah no i'm a young prospect when you're young you want to stay active and stay learning like i said so any um opportunity that presents itself i'll take it if i can box every weekend i would but um whenever the fights are there i'll take them you know definitely i think uh starting next year i'll start doing six rounders i hope so and uh keep pushing on maybe eight rounders by the end of that year but I can't look past any fight. I've got to get through November 26th first. But um, yeah, I believe I'll, I'll get there. I'll get there, definitely. Well, we'd love to watch you every week if we could. Um, fortunately, I don't think they would allow it for whatever reasons. <laughs> yeah, no, i will box every week if I could, but it is what it is. <laughs> well, anyways, we wish you the best of luck at your camp and we can't wait to see you November 26th. Cheers, mate. I think, uh, thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you.